so I'm currently chair of cybersecurity at University of York in UK. Um, my childhood and young adulthood saw me a navigator revolution, a war and a patriarchal society as a young girl through an unstoppable passion for mathematics. I graduated with double bachelor's degree in mathematics and computer science from Sharif University of Technology, where I was classmates with other mighty girls like Mariam Riza Khani, Ward's first um, woman fields medalist. And then I immigrate, immigrated to United States and I did my PhD in uh, algebra, uh, mostly comp computational and uh, combinatorial. And also I did a degree in uh, computer science. I heard about uh, IHS during my PhD studies in New York. I believe uh, one of the professors there, Dennis Sullivan, used to be part of the institute. And then I visited IHS in 2004 after my PhD. And during the time I was a lecturer at the University of St. Andrews. really productive time during uh, my stay um, through many discussions and seminars, both uh, with the permanent professors as well as uh, the temporary visitors that were there. And there were very valuable seminars uh, that were always going on. Um, the lunch, uh, the lunch break was always uh, very fruitful, and I learned a lot even from the informal discussions that we had. I stayed in um, a beautiful IHS uh, accommodation that was very close to the institute, and it was a really good place to to think. And the offices and resources and library that. I was given access to were uh, very um, helpful. Personally, um, I must say at the time of my first visit in 2004, I can recall I was the only woman there, um, you know, among scientists. Um, so that was a little, you know, uh, isolated at some point. So scientifically, it was one of my uh, unique experiences. And, uh, you know, as I said, through the seminars and many discussions with professors and re researchers there, I could uh, come up with uh, many interesting ideas that I even now I'm pursuing some of them. IHS, I had a couple of discussions about um, uh, the graph theory work that I've done with uh, Professor Kansevich. I also uh, made a visit to Professor Etienne Gis in Lyon, uh, where we discussed some ideas about geometric group theory. And I was also invited to give one of the seminars at IHS. I think I was invited by Professor Sule. And um, I gave a lecture about my work on group-based cryptography and how polycyclic groups can be used in cryptography. And at the time, I just started that work. However, uh, through um, the questions and comments by the participants and discussions after, I was able to um, come up with new ideas and I, progressed a lot, uh, you know, after my visit. Through that visit, I got to know about other scientists in Paris. And I visited um, after that uh, Sorbonne University and IHP for many times, and uh, which eventually helped me to be one of the organizers of one of the scientific uh, trimesters coming up on post-quantum algebraic cryptography this autumn? Excellent question. Uh, definitely role models are playing, uh, is playing very crucial um, 
component uh, to this. I, I was lucky to have uh, many mentors, uh, not just women, also men who were very supportive of my career. When I was in New York, I founded um, New York Women in Mathematics and Computing Network. And I organized many events and also received um, generous funding from the National Science Foundations in the United States to support such activities there. I wanted to make the path for other young women easier to, to progress and understand their full potential to do mathematics and computer science. And uh, I actually teamed up with uh, the provost and the dean of, of my university, CUNY, at the time. What we did was addressing everything, including research. Um, we had some workshops for communication for women, uh, for negotiation, uh, for leadership. I organized a, an event to bring together the powerful um, presidents and provosts and chancellors of the university and discuss their experiences. And also for even for teaching, uh, we, we did some events for that. And um, it basically formed a network that uh, women who were in uh, more senior positions could support the younger generation and bring them together and basically mentor them either they were either in the same field of mathematics or computer science or just the general advice of what path they take perhaps a committee can be formed specifically to to promote women in mathematics in IHS you know and they they have perhaps more ideas or they have ways, they, they have their own network that they could definitely help. And EHP has this uh, program, not necessarily for women, for everybody. So if you have a research project uh, and then you work long distance and if you want to get together to, um, to finish the project, say, in a week or two weeks or one month, depending on, on the difficulty of the project or, or the responsibilities that the researchers may have. So maybe, you know, open the call and say, well, at least one of the uh, participants should be woman, you know. I'm not saying impose it, but, or maybe say encourage women to be part of the group to kind of, you know, bring more collaboration and bring more women to the team. Definitely recommend having uh, several mentors in different areas. You know, one woman mentor, one man, man um, mentor, and also um, the joy of doing mathematics and the joy of um, the taste of success is uh, is irreplaceable and um, it's certainly doable to to do so. So I, I can recall the my office with this very big blackboard that I could write my thoughts and then think and invite uh, one of the scientists to comment and discuss. So that was really um, interesting to me. And also I was very honored to, it was uh, one of my first talks after my PhD I gave, you know, at IHS. And I mean, of course, everyone in the audience were men and I gave this seminar and I received really interesting feedbacks and I could think about them. There were so many new research venues that, um, motivated me and uh, helped me to, to build. You know, you just get ideas. And, and also because um, people in the Institute uh, come from different backgrounds scientifically. Uh, I learned about different topics that could be applied to my research uh, indirectly or directly. So that was really nice. And mm -hmm. 